this is Joshua Boxed and welcome back to another video and today we're gonna do our weekly pickups and sales video now this is something that I like to do on a weekly basis I like to showcase the cards that I've picked up um, and tell you guys the prices I pay for them so that you could follow along on my sports card journey I feel that transparency is very very you know big um, it's key into understanding how we're able to work our way up the ladder um, in order to purchase those big cards that I want to hold long term and to pass on to my son. So in terms of sales, no sales again. Uh, I know it's been pretty light on sales these past this past month. Ever since I acquired that Magic Johnson, Larry Bird, Julius Irving card, I think I'm just basically in the process of putting my cards up for sale to prepare for a big Brady purchase. So. Uh, you know, expect to see some sales soon. Um, if not next week, then definitely the week after. But, you know, with the lack of sales, you know, I try to make up for it in terms of pickups and I got quite a few things here. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. If you've been watching my videos recently, um, then you saw that I recently took a trip to, trip to Games and Cards um, out here in Eagle Rock, California, and I ended up picking up these three Wayne Gretzky cards. These all come from the 1984 Opeachy set. This is number 380. Uh, for the scoring leaders, PSA 9, a PSA 9 number 381 goal leaders, and a PSA 9 number 382 assist leaders. So I got all of these cards for $125 each. I thought it was a pretty good deal for some 1984 Wayne Gretzky cards in, in a very, very high grade. So pretty happy with those purchases there. This next set of cards I ended up getting um, all together for $43 from Burbank Sports Cards. It's a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14 cards. So that roughly equates to around about $3 a card. So first card here, this is a 1990 Topps Frank Thomas rookie card. Now this is not the no name on front. Um, that one is a, the error card, but this is just the regular base card. I thought it was just pretty cool to have a Frank Thomas rookie card in the collection. Um, you know, really no plans to get this graded. It's just something cool to own. Of a great baseball player. Got three second year tops Aaron Rodgers base cards. This is the 2006 tops cards. So they all look to be in pretty decent condition. Got them all three together with the lot. Got a 2014 Topps Chrome Philip Rivers Refractor. A pretty affordable price for it. Like I said, all these cards roughly equate to around $3 per card. You know, some of them were worth more, some of them were, were priced less. But you know, overall, if you do the average, it's about $3 per card. Got a 1995 Metal Silver Spotlight Reggie Miller. You know, these cards are just pretty cool. Reggie Miller, one of the greatest three-point shooters of all time. Pretty cool parallel. Used to own these cards as a kid. So I really do love these cards. The next one is a Stadium Club rookie, Paul Pierce. Got it just because, you know, I just thought it'd be cool just to have a rookie card of his. Um... Got a 1997 Shaquille O'Neal, or 1997 Upper Deck Shaquille O'Neal base card. This was priced at a dollar. Um, just a cool base card of Shaquille O'Neal. I really love this 97 Upper Deck set um, because the photo that they use, they have a little description of that actual game. You know, they have this whole game dated kind of thing. But these do come with um, what's called a game dated parallel, which is all foil. So if you if you ever run into those, I highly suggest picking them up because they're very, very rare and you know they're very, very cool. <laughs> Got this card to add to my Penny Hardaway PC. Uh, this is the 1999 Skybox EX Penny Hardaway. Has a nice shine to it. Nothing really special about it. It's just that it's a Penny Hardaway card. Um, used to collect him heavy as a kid. Got a 1993 First Year Phenoms Fleer Penny Hardaway. This is an insert card. Off center left to right, but you know, pretty cool insert card back in the day. This was a card I owned as a kid when I was when I was collecting cards. And then another one that I owned as a kid was this 1993 uh, Upper Deck SE or Special Edition Anthony Hardaway rookie card. This was a late set 
um, that year. So it came out in 94. So it's a 93, 94 card. 1990 Hoops Sean Kemp rookie card to go with my 1990 Fleer Sean Kemp rookie card. And then I got this uh, Hoops Michael Jordan uh, Tribune card. It's like a kind of like a newspaper type of design depicting Jordan's first win uh, for his first title with the Bulls. I think this is a 1991 set that came out in um, Series 2, 91 Finals. I don't know, or this could be a 1992 set. I'm not sure. I don't remember. And then we got a 1991 Upper Deck Michael Jordan All-Star card. I really, really love All-Star cards. I think it's so cool, especially when they're wearing those kind of jerseys. So like I said, this whole lot of cards was 43 bucks. So around $3 per card. Next up is a 2017 Select Courtside Steph Curry. This is the base card. I just like these cards because, you know, Courtside are, are the rare versions of the bases. And, you know, it's Steph Curry and I'm a big believer in Steph Curry long term. Now these two cards, if you've seen my video on my eBay hunting with a $100 budget, then you've already seen me pick up these two cards. Uh, this is the Michael Jordan Z-Kling. This is the 1996 Z-Kling Michael Jordan card. Now these Z-Kling cards are um, stickers, actually. So you can see it right there. White, plain white background, pretty flimsy card, but still cool. And I got this um, SPX Wayne Gretzky gold card. I think this is 96. I don't know if it's a 96 or 97. Pretty cool for around 15 bucks. So these two were 15 each. Check out the video if you haven't seen it yet. It shows you how, how, how I came to the decision of buying it. Um, and then this one is a 1992 USA basketball um, team card. Uh, this came from the 1992 Skybox Team USA set. Um, they came out with their own standalone set. And what's weird about this card is that it's a it's plastic. It's pretty flimsy. It's not um, made out of your normal cardboard stock. Uh, I got this card for 30 bucks. I thought just thought it was pretty interesting. It has the whole entire Dream Team minus Drexler and Leitner. But pretty cool card. I don't even know if you can call it a card. <laughs> plastic so and the last pickup is a 1999 skybox ex generation ex kobe bryant this is an insert card this is graded a psa 8.5 got it for a pretty good price too uh probably less than 80 bucks for a 8.5 graded kobe bryant card on an insert has a nice shine to it So yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing too wild, nothing too crazy. You know, I think the last couple of pickups that I've had have showcased some pretty pricey cards, but I think all these cards are somewhat affordable. Um, like I said, a lot of this time, it's it's building the process or going through the process of working your way back up again, especially after all those sales that I did to get the Magic Bird and Irving card. Now I have to start the process again of rebuilding and this is a good start. You know, some of these cards I bought just for the um, sure sake that I really like them, uh, especially some of the cards I picked up from Burbank. Some cards definitely have some opportunity with them, like, like this uh, plastic card. I think this card has a lot of opportunity in it, a lot of value to be had there. This Jordan Z Kling think I still think this card has value. The Curry card is something to hold. Um, there are some surface issues with this card, so I'm just gonna most likely hang on to this card. Uh, for my PC. A couple of Jordan cards that are always good to buy. Sean Kemp Rookie. You know, these Penny Hardaways are all about staying to the PC. A nice shack to, for the PC. Paul Pierce Rookie card. You know, this Miller card really has no value. It's just something cool to own. <laughs> and then obviously these cards I plan on trying to move are actually these three. Uh, just waiting to see how the market goes during football season. Philip Rivers is already retired. So but these uh, Aaron Rodgers cards may have some short-term value there. And this Frank Thomas card is just a card to own. 
uh, and keeping the PC. Uh, pretty cool to have a Frank Thomas rookie card. And you obviously see the Gretzky's that are pretty cool in the PC and this Kobe goes to the PC as well. So um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, please consider subscribing. I like doing these videos on a weekly basis. I also do videos on a daily basis. If you're new to this channel, um, make sure you hit the subscribe button, that bell notification to stay up to date to all the things that I post, um, whether it's talking about particular news, cards, plays, strategies, you know, a lot of things that just come off the top of my head. Um, I, I just feel like it's make they just make for great discussion points so um with that being said thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video later